Curious as to what the weather is going to be like on your wedding day? Go to brideaccess.com, click on the weather link, and there you can receive a customized weather outlook for your wedding day. Compliments of KSL Live 5 Weather and brideaccess.com. Welcome back to the program. I'm your host, Robin Seville with brightaccess.com. And today I am thrilled to be sitting with uh, Lynn Marcos, who's the regional marketing director, and sales director, sales director for uh, NOAA's. And I'm sure that most of our listeners, Lynn, have heard of NOAA's. And so I think this is a great opportunity to get to learn a little bit more about it and what makes it an exceptional place for a wedding or reception or corporate event or any special celebration. Welcome to the program. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. Lynn, tell me a little bit about Noah's because I, I've been there many times and it is by no means your average place to have a wedding. It really is exceptional. Yeah, N Noah's is very unique. Mm -hmm. It's uh, unique in its concept and its design. Um, the thing about Noah's that makes it unique is that we give people the opportunity to come to Noah's and rent space for their events, whether it be weddings or whatever, and they create it how are they envision it to be mm -hmm. and there's no there's very few restrictions at noah's um we like people to to apply what they've always dreamed their wedding to be mm -hmm. and use noah's for that and i imagine if, if a bride or, or or her mother whoever's helping plan that wedding if they are stumped a little bit on ideas you guys have done so many weddings you've seen so many a variety of weddings you're probably a great resource for them as well i'm guessing to help them envision what their wedding and reception can look like at NOAA's. Yeah, we, we also have a event coordinator mm -hmm. that all of our brides get to spend some time with her with their booking to kind of talk to her and kind of pick her brain and get some ideas. She tells me she's surprised how many brides she sits down with that haven't even picked out the basics like colors. Right. And so she kind of gets their mind going because there's a lot that goes into doing yeah. a wedding. And so um, Judy is phenomenal in and giving them some direction and yeah we have seen we've seen weddings on ice we've seen um we've seen all kinds of unique ideas and lots of great things that people have done with our space and, and i've met and know judy really well she really does do a great job now you just mentioned you've seen weddings on ice uh -huh. <laughs> and that immediately made me think of something that's really cool about noah's and i know it's not all year long it goes around the seasons but people can go ice skating Correct. on the roof yes is that right yes that's and true yes. what, what are the months out of the year that they can do that in our linden facility they can do that in december and january and in south jordan they can do that december january and february in the winter months isn't that amazing that you can have your wedding and special celebration there and People can be ice skating. There's also pool tables and a few of the rooms, right? You have theater rooms. We do. Uh, racquetball? We do have racquetball. Uh -huh. A lot of families will rent the racquetball room to put the kids in because <laughs> the one in South Jordan, you can hook up a Wii uh -huh. in that room and they can play um, They can play life-size Wii. And they put the kids uh -huh. in there. They can scream and yell and have their own party and they're not kind of in the way or they're, yeah. they're having a good time and they're not at a boring wedding. So the kids can bounce off the wall instead of yeah. the racquetballs, right? Yep, exactly. And, and that's really something that's really unique about Noah's is, is guests come and have a good time, but there's so many things that you can do mm -hmm. to entertain your family and friends or, or do something the day before the wedding, have a bachelor party or a bachelorette party. I, right. I know those have taken place yep. there too. I, I think the options are really almost endless. How about this economy? There's no question the economy has affected many brides, and mm -hmm. they still want to have that, that dream wedding of theirs. How can NOAA's help those brides that, regardless of where their budget point is, how, how does NOAA's fit in? Well, that's kind of an interesting question because NOAA's, we started in the down economy. We don't mm -hmm. know anything different than a down economy. So we're kind of excited to see where this takes us as the economy starts to get going again. The nice thing about NOAA's is um, it's very important to us that we provide a space for people to be able to stay within their budget. Mm -hmm. We want people to come to NOAA's and feel like they are getting their money's worth, that their money's well spent, and that they are staying within their uh, investment, you know, mm -hmm. what they have put forth for their wedding. We don't want them to feel like they've overspent. We want them to be happy with what they've gotten. And um, that's the unique thing about Noah's is we allow people to do whatever they want there as far as decorating and catering and, 
and uh, entertainment so that they can feel like they're in control of their dream day. Mm -hmm. So regardless of whether they have a a small budget or a larger budget, what doesn't change is the location. Correct. And the the features and the options that are there, the way they decorate it, and maybe some of those things might might come into play a little bit depending on the budget. But you're still getting a great location. Right. And the thing with Noah's is you don't have to decorate and still have a very great. beautiful mm-hmm. venue for your event. I mean, yeah. we've seen people walk in and we just throw linens on the table and it's phenomenal. How great! And we've it looks. seen people totally transform the space into what looks like a circus tent. I mean, mm-hmm. it's amazing what what creativity people have when you give them the freedom to be creative you know i've been there for corporate events i've been there for wedding fashion shows i i've I've been there for weddings and receptions and it's amazing how the the decorating what the bride envisions can really become her own because the facility allows you to make it your own right like i said regardless of what the situation may be how about food and catering well, we do have preferred providers mm-hmm. um, along all the gamut of people that provide services for weddings. We have, you know, preferred photographers and caterers, decorators, florists, those things. Um, and we will recommend those people to our customers because they have been to Noah's. They know what to expect. They know how it works. Um, we do have a relationship with them. We trust them. Um, they're clear about how to leave the facility when they're done, and we don't have problems but we don't want to lock anybody into anything either so we give people the option to bring in their grandma's favorite potato salad if that's what they want to serve at their wedding or their uncle who owns a catering company or their aunt who's a florist we want them to have that ability and that possibility we don't want to take that away from anybody it's not up to us to tell people how their day should look and so Um, But if people are stuck, if they don't know, you know, where do I go for catering? Where do I go for floral? Where do I go for these things? Um, Our event coordinator does a fabulous job in assisting with that direction. Easy freeway access off I-15, isn't it? It is. At both locations. And we haven't touched on yet, but you have the Linden location. We do. And you have, uh, in South Jordan, you have another location. We do. So... uh, two options, at least right here in Utah. And I say in here in Utah because there's a new option, a couple new options. Yes. A few new <laughs> options, actually. Which is the good news. <laughs> to, to tell us that because sometimes brides and grooms are meeting at school or whatever their situation is, sure. and they might have a reception, a wedding here and reception here, and they may have a reception somewhere else. Where is, uh, where is the other locations? So our, our next location that we'll be opening is in Chandler, Arizona. We're already seeing a great interest down there. Mm-hmm. People are just loving the concept coming down there. Um, and then we will go to probably Colorado. Um, Westminster, Colorado is the place where we have property. And then Irving, Texas after that. And I say probably Colorado because Irving and Colorado are in, in a heat for all the, the licensing and stuff with the community we have we get to meet before we can build. So yeah. we're thinking Colorado is going to be the next one. Yeah. Thank you for coming today. Thank uh, you. This is so much great information. How can people find you? They can find us at www dot mynoahs dot com okay. that's our website or they can call one eight hundred mynoahs that's our eight hundred number they can get any okay. information from the website or the eight hundred number that and they a, need. and of course they can link to noahs through brightaccess dot com they can so yep. if for some reason they forget a phone number or something like that they can they can go to brightaccess dot com find the link find your page at brightaccess yep. you have several videos on our website as well mm-hmm. as your own website so a bride can actually kind of see what it what her wedding the potential that she has sure. at Noah's by watching those videos, yep. right? Yep. <laughs> Thank you again, Lynn. Thank Great you. having you on the show. Thanks. And uh, and you've been listening to the, the brightaccess.com podcast interview with Lynn Marcus with, uh, with, my, with Noah's. I almost said my Noah's. That's the website, <laughs> mynoahs.com. Yep. We'll be right back.